There you go. Here we go. I'll get ready, folks. Sit back. Grab your nearest drink. <sighs> Something to eat. Sit back. Relax. Best of the best. About to go green to try and qualify for the All Star Ace. We're waiting on our live feed to commence what's happening over here. So far, Wilfred's in the lead. Strong at the 10 right behind him. Coming to our travel. It's all yours, Chris. Thank you very much, man. We got the nine still leading the 10, heading to the six. We got the three leading. We got the three leading the rear right now. The 10 is in second, trying to gain momentum. We got Smoke Carbon here having a heck of a time in the back here, heading off the foundation. As they come to the back straightaway, the 10 right there. It's catching up at a turn number three. The nine looking. Straight up, but it comes to the triangle. The 10 just need a little bit more run. He'll be right there. It's all yours, Chris. We are up. Jimmy 48 fan as he sees what's going on heading into turn one. The 10 is closing on the 9. The 9 slides up ever a little bit. This can get really interesting, folks. <laughs> Here they come to the back straight away. The 10 is right there. One mistake from the 9 can take the win away. As they come to the this turn is three. Crazy. This is completely crazy here. There is a possibility of these drivers having to pit, and if so, when will they do it? You have to think about this as the 10 is sizing up the 9. As you're looking right here, folks, the 10 is right at right bumper. One mistake to the back straightaway on turn 3. The 10 looks high, but the 9 is still low. Right now, we got the 9 doing everything he can to manage momentum. The 9 will leave this lap, the 10 is inching. He ducks low, then he ducks high, then he ducks low again. He looks high. This time. Down the back straight away one more time. Here they come, the 10. Slide it. He's looking, he's looking for it. To turn number 3, it's all your Chris. He's looking right now, but the 9 is pulling him just a little bit. The 10 is moving around to 3 and 4, and a momentum-based Texas track like Texas, this is not what you need, but the draft is an equalizer. But don't forget about that 48 car in the back. The 48 is just looking what's going on. One mistake from those two, three, two drivers can... The 48 can take the win and be in the All-Star race. That comes to turn 3 as we're on board from the 10. We, we were on board the 10 as they come off the turn 4, the 9 is leading over the 10, the 10 is heads across, saves it, but they still go to the back of the 9, the 9, and the 48 inching his way back. The, the 10 goes slow, here they come, they're going to be side by side, not enough, not enough run, as they come to turn 3. The 10 is sizing him up. He knows that the 9 is strong in 3 and 4, but weak in 1 and 2. What will he do and how he sides up this move? He looks low, he looks high. The 10 is there! To the bottom! Oh man! The 9 is the wall! To the back, right away, nearly to the 10! The 9 just hit the wall, what, what a mistake! Too. From being the chaser to the chasee, how will he hold the pressure? Can he do this? New leader, the crowd roars. This is a white flag. But these 
these drivers have to worry about now is the all-star rules and these guys with the four times tire wear. When they decide to come to pit road, A, they have to know when they're coming and B, how to get on the pit road correctly without losing time and more importantly, out of contention. Oh God. My bad, I just said last lap, I don't know why, but <laughs> it was my bad. Sorry, Chris. It happens. <laughs> Stage one goes to Bob, as I committed a big oof. This is why I'm a driver, not a commentator, folks. That's all right. Uh, what a move and what a mistake that the nine did and took the stage away. Now, is anybody going to be desperate for track position? But this being this short, I surely expect someone to take these tires. Now, the one I'm looking at, Chris, is a 48 in carbon. They're right there. One mistake, they can just go to and win stage two. I mean, I know Smoke Carbon. He does everything with a perfect mind. He is a huge bet in my mind to get this stage two. And more importantly, he has to think in his mind, how am I going to get this done? Am I going to get this done by strategy? Am I going to get this done by adjustments? <laughs> Who's going to get this done? This is why you all come to see. Here we come. Restart now. Here we go to Texas, to the restart zone. And we're underway. Back up to the gears they go. The 12 a nine. really bad restart there. Yeah, he went up the race. Oh, the 19, the 18, 18 trouble. He sends it or he goes too tight. The, the nine, there goes Carmen. Carmen. He's poking his nose, man. What will he do? There's a draft. What will 48 do? With the eight, head below. Oh, he goes up with him. He's at the bottom. Here comes the 48 as well. Three wide and turn number four. Who's going to take it here to the trouble? Side by side to the trouble. What's going to be? For the 48, the end of the wall, it's your turn, Chris. Here's the 48 heading into turn one. You have the 8 on the high side, the 9 is low, but the 12 is gaining with the draft. This could be a 4 car battle. What will this 3 car do? The 9 is right the there. To the travel. Here comes the nine. He looks high. He looks low. What's gonna do? Us Carmen just looking for a chance to win this stage two. Now he is on the bumper. You have to try and figure out how to size him up, how to pass him. How are you gonna beat your opponent? Gimbal is on the bumper. He ducks low and he loses momentum. Oh fuck, uh, the 48 looking strong today! Somewhere, Blue Jimmy's jumping up and down right now, trying to think, can he hold on? It's the man from New York, he is the fan favorite, but he can drive as well, can he hold on? <laughs> Remember, this is, you're gonna have two more chances. Oh, here comes a nine to the triangle. The Ambalans back. This is an impressive effort. The nine the just pushing him. He's right there. The nine is right there. One little mistake can cause victory and defeat. He looks to the, the to that the side. To the side. Oh, he got attacked. Here comes the nine to the primary strike. To the lead he goes. The new leader is the nine. Blue Jimmy is must be fuming from underneath that helmet, but it's okay. He can get him back. What? Ooh, how bad does he want this? Here comes Carbon. Oh, what a block for the 48. Oh, here comes Carbon. He hits the wall. Ah, short. West Rafton comes with the 48, but I think the nine's in a pretty good spot as long as he keeps his. His eyes on the track here, he'll be okay here. The 48, I think, I, I think, Chris, I think the A48 is getting closer to a 9. As it comes to the, to the back straightaway. We are 
Oh, here comes the runner! Here he comes! He's right there, his he left coming. bumper! He is there! He dips low! He dips high! Oh, he the nine needs to flip up for the way to play in! He's knock knock, he's right there! Oh, he lost momentum! Rob for the nine, what will he do? Can he hold off the pressure? As a driver, when you're in this position, this is so nerve-wracking because you think everything that can go wrong will go wrong. It's a matter of mental and physical nerve. It's also frustrating because you're like, how can I not pass him if it's right there? Oh, God. Speaking of which, the nine has a bad corner. Four eight with a great run there. One lap to go in the station number two, folks. This could be interesting. This is going to be amazing. Will he hold it? Can he hold it? The last turn to leave is where you mess up the most. Oh, the trouble! Oh, the trouble! The 12! But our turn four! The knight will lock himself three. into the after! Get into the All-Star Stage 2! Now, oh man, oh man, this, this Stage 3, man, Chris, it's gonna be interesting. We have Blue Jimmy, the 12, and Smoke Car Ben. With HS Racing, the 48. They look strong we tonight. We got great friends, and we got people that go all out in races just with a normal casual lobby. Imagine what, personally, my two picks to this dog in a fight, I have to think it's Blue Jimmy or it's Smoke Harvin. I'm the gonna be. These big guys are always had a great program, and I think it will show up right here. I'm always with you, Chris. Those two cars, those two Chevrolet Camaros look strong tonight. Let's see what it can do in this final stage. You got any picks? Any other picks to this race, my commentator brother? I feel like the 12 can have a little bit of chance if he's starting on that second row. On that second spot, excuse me. After we go to a restart it's zone, all folks. All about the restart. Here we go. Right and we're green! Oh, Here comes Carbon. Pushing the 48. Oh, God. Welcome to the aerial view. The 48 is a leader, but the 8 is getting some momentum. Who's Here comes the 18. The they're pushing, they're pushing. Oh, Carbon. He's right oh, there. This is nuts. This is right there. The 18, the 8, the 48. The 18 looks high. Maybe the 18 could get involved in this fight. Why um, one for the most dangerous ones. On board of Carbon. Carbon's all over the back of the 48. He's right there. He's just kissing that. He's kissing that bumper. On a turn three. Down, both people are gonna think exactly what's my car gonna do to get around the other guy? How can I use the draft and negate the arrow push that I may have? This is what they're gonna try to figure out in between this draft on. Now H is racing on that 12 Penske driver. He faded on that restart, but look at the 18 car. He he can do something tonight. I personally think he will, but the 48 is trying to break the draft any way he can with Smoke Carbon, and it's caused Carbon to have a little bit better entry than the 48 because Carbon's attacking and Jimmy's defending. Carbon has good three and four corners. Oh, someone's in the grass. Oh, to the bottom! He is there. <laughs> he is not square, and he has hair. Smoke Carbon! Back the question is, will he play it wisely or dirty on this final stage? To the tribe. Oh, here it comes! Here comes the tribe back to the inside! They're side by side! To the tribe, what's gonna be Carbon leading the lap? The old leader Carbon, can he clear? Can he clear him? Yes, he will! Carbon to the breeze! Yeah! 
They mess up. Carvin has this win out of out, out, out of his pocket. <laughs> Excuse me. Now you have the relative unknown Trevor versus the YouTube dial. This is gonna get great here. This could be an eye-opening moment for one. This could be a life-changing moment for the other. Let's see what's gonna happen here. What can Carvin do? Maybe he's in the best position with the draft. Yeah. I mean, he, he he's catching up a little bit, but oh, he's 18 is in the grass. We are gonna go on board with the 18 whenever I can get to him. The three just wrecked. We don't no. know what caused that, but can he get back going? He's in the grass doing donuts because why the heck not? Oh, he's gonna get back to the back. He's gonna eat in the pitch. Oh. Carmen is in the pit the road. Right of the bumper in the 48 right now. We are on board the 18. We are seeing his desperation. We are seeing everything they can. I'll go and check on Carmen's pit stop. They're side by side in the pit. The 1848. Now the 48 is just behind the 18. The he thing is, what they left carbon? The I'm inviting Larson Ben in here. Okay. Oh, the 48 got a good, got a good lead on that pit lane. Now he's gonna get out in front. That's the question. And will Carmen left him? That's another question. As air drivers in pit road right now. Oh, the 12 out of the pit road. He's the first one out. He must take. The 18 is out as well. As you, but will it be enough? Oh, it's up to speed. This could be close. Oh, he comes coming. Turn one. We are on board. Will he pass Blue Jimmy? No, but he will get into his draft. Oh, Carmen has a good car. He's he's sliding. He's doing the draft he wants. Will he pass him? That's a question. I personally think he'll get there, but you know the saying, my friend. Catching is one thing, passing is another. Will he play dirty? That's what. That's the question again. For I don't this. think these two will, but you never really know. If I mean, if Carmen in the last lap, if Carmen is in right bumper, he will just. Play, go full throttle free. Here we go. This is a really, really intense here. You got two guys that are actively trying to chase each other down. You got one guy in third, which is Trevor. I'm hoping they screw up all the way back there to even give him a chance right now. This could be a dog fight between just Uno Dos. <laughs> Only Uno can make the All Star race. Remember, we got the. with an incredible save. I'm gonna talk about someone. The 12th of H is racing. He has been fading. He had a chance, but let's see how that strategy works in this final stage. I personally do think that. He did take no tires or two tires because the fall off is just so bad. These cars. He was like, he was like the first one to get out, like in two seconds. But oh, I feel like Harvey is catching up. Think he will be in vain, but HS has a good driver here, so we can also see a good show at that. In addition to 48. Ooh, and then traffic. 
The 12 is a leader? I think 12 is a leader, isn't it? I think, I don't know, but here's, here we go. Got out ahead of those guys, so I think he is still the leader. Yeah, he may be the leader. Yeah, he is the leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 48 has his four tires, though, and I know Carmen has the same, so it's only a matter of time, but will time run out before now, he let, even get there? Excuse me, Chris. Now, let's look on Carmen. He was the first one on pit road. Will that help him save enough fuel? I mean, it, could, it will hurt him if it comes to fuel saving, but B, the possibility that you don't really need the fuel here, the fresher that your tires are, the better position you are. I think Blue Jimmy's in the catbird seat here. I honestly do. Now, the two drivers I'm looking towards to with the, with the fuel, fuel mileage and tires is H is racing and small carbon because it's smart. Carbon was first, and then HS was like the quickest pit stop ever in this racetrack. Well, I can confirm into the broadcast that he did take two tires because his left sides are pretty, pretty worn out. You can't even see the coating on them. On the right sides, you can. So it must have been a stop, but the fall isn't as bad as what we've anticipated so far. Yeah, he would have been freaking tight and hitting the wall every single corner. But out of turn number three. Oh, I see Blue Jimmy there as well, Carmen. Will he be falling apart? And I think HS is doing a whale of a job, and sometimes having guts does win all star races, but will the performance of the tires be his saving grace, or will it be his fall? In my opinion, this three stage races are being pretty good. How about you, Chris? I think this has been a pretty wild show. Right now, this is a little bit of the calming sense, but it will pick back up soon because of the way the strategy works and the way the speed works. Sit back, folks. Continue to eat your popcorn, drink your Pepsi, and you're going to have a, a great show. Wait, never mind. It's over. 12 cars won. What? <laughs> How? HS is in the All-Star race. I fumbled that one really bad. Good job, everybody. Good job. Well, well, Chris, it was an honor having you here in the on the booth. Well, good luck out there, bud. Thank you very much, man. It was an honor to try my hand at this content and stuff. You do this a lot better than I can ever do. Good luck in the booth, my friend. Hope we can put on a good show. Thank you. GD to you, man. Hope I can see you victory lane. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. And we got our results, folks. HS Racing is the winner. Man, it was great being with... With Huge Wolf. Let's go! Oh, God. Uh, okay. Well, this is the open races, folks. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you on the All-Star Race.